Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. We want to talk about what is going on here, yeah, in this um, sort of in the last couple of days, what kind of wave pattern has emerged and is there a possibility we are now finally breaking to the upside? Because that has become my primary expectation. Um, as we already talked about it earlier today, that um, I, I'm generally focused here on the upside with Ethereum. Um, as long as we stay above 1290 and we talk about that um, in a minute first of all this is still here sort of the wider pattern in which we are there are a few possibilities here we could get into a breakout straight away or if you just sort of disregard everything else but only focus on the blue wave count it um, is certainly a possibility based on the Elliott wave rules that this is a massive Elliott wave triangle you can see that here from the low of the wave three here, yeah, a wave A, a wave B, a wave C, we might doing, be doing now. Then there will be a wave D down and the wave E up, and then we will make one more lower low. I cannot rule out this possibility. It is currently not my primary expectation, but it is something that I cannot ignore, that we need to be, pre be prepared for. It could very well be that we will make one more lower low here. This is just what the pattern at the moment allows for. Um, and this is the case as long as, so this is a risk in this wave pattern of a triangle, as long as we stay below $1,400. So if we break out above $1,400 and break above this wave A high, then this cannot be a triangle anymore. And this pattern will be invalidated. So I'm moving, move it down for now because it is not the primary focus, it's not the primary expectation. My primary expectation is that from the um, the high here at around 1800, we came down in a five wave move, uh, wave one, wave two, wave three, then we moved up in a wave four. A lot of people got bullish already. My view was that we will have to ideally see one more low, which then also happened when CPI data was released. And we could now very well be on the move up. There is no reason to panic if we go up. You know, we had like two to three weeks to bottom watch, yeah, and then we saw that low, and we're now moving up. <clears throat> this is at the moment my primary expectation that we will carry on with a breakout. Now, of course, this is not guaranteed to happen. You know, can I promise you that we're going to break out? Of course not. But it's important to know what are now the relevant levels that should be broken. So. In uh, earlier today or yesterday, we talked about the possibility that um, from the lower here, from the 13th of October, we moved up in a five wave move. That That is still my expectation. For some reason, it's taken out the wave count here. So I have to put it on again, um, that this here was a wave one. That we then came down either here as a wave two, yeah, and we're now breaking up wave three, four, five, and so on. Just to illustrate that, disregard here the time scale it's just to illustrate what can happen one two now in three that's a possibility but we we, we didn't really retrace a lot in this wave two yeah so there is a potential that we are now in wave three but it could also very well be could be that this is just a wave x and we come down in a wave Y and the wave two will eventually be here. So that we do get once more deeper into this green area. Now this has today become less likely as we retraced quite a lot. Yeah, we did retrace more than the 78.6% FIP level. Yeah, that's at 1325. Always when you get above that level, it will, yeah, you know, it will get less likely that it's still gonna come down. But, you know, we haven't broken it on a substantial, you know, sub on a sustainable basis, not yet. But at the moment, because I can also count five waves, yeah, the point just is, as long as we stay above 1290, which is this low here, as long as we stay above 1290, my focus will be on higher. Now, for now, I'm going to take off that yellow count off the chart, right? Because at the moment, we can focus on higher as long as we stay above 1290 which would mean that what we've seen here would be again a wave one. Yeah. And we would come down at some point here because we have now five waves at some point down in a wave two 
before we then move up in three, come down in four and move up in five off that wave three up there. Where do we have sort of support now? So let me show you that. If we say, okay, this was a one, we came down in two. This is now another one, two setup. So these are five waves now. So I'm just gonna, to not mess it up here in the chart, I'm just gonna, just wanna show you sort of the sub waves here. Need to change that. Just wanna show you the sub waves, how this can unfold. So if we say all of this was a wave one, we could now come down in two. Yeah, if this is ended here. Um, and at the moment, let's say if we start a reversal down now, then a correction, yeah, then we look at micro support in the area between, well, yeah, you know, 1290 basically and 1300, I would say. You know, in an extreme case, we could come down to 1280. That's the 78.6% FIB level, but actually that's already looks then quite a strong retracement, doesn't it? So ideally I want, well, wanted to hold that 1290 level. That's also this swing low, it, that would be healthy to hold that level. And as long as it does that, I think I'd be focusing on higher, yeah, um, in another five wave move than ideally. So what happens next in that correction down is key. That could be an ABC holding the 1290 level would be ideal and then reverse to the upside, or it could just still extend further to the upside. If we get above 1340, yeah, two, which is this wave one high, then it would also confirm to me with more or with greater likelihood that a low was already in here and here. Yeah, and that we have possibly already seen then uh, of this larger wave two wave that we've been observing for many weeks, yeah, that we've already seen the low here. So it's, it's difficult. We haven't really broken above this high. That would be important. And then we obviously need to break above 1400 um, to get more confirmation. But you know what you need to decide, you know, how much confirmation do you want? For me, this currently looks like we're moving up. There will be probably a small retracement in a wave two now, like a micro wave two, and then we can move higher. Um, target for that circle wave three, I can give you that as well. And that is sort of based on this wave one. The assumption that wave two only came down to 1265. Yeah, and then the target for that wave three here would be $1,500. That will be interesting. And that's my update at the moment about, um, about Ethereum. So hopefully you like the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.